Okay, here we go. Let's do a quick walk around on the 350 EXC and see what we got. Right up front, we got something brand new. Check this out. Black spokes, black wheels and black spokes. Now, I haven't figured out what these are yet because they've got different markings on them. So they don't look exactly like the regular XLs. I looked it up on the parts fish and there's no description of the wheels there, but uh, they look kind of cool. You know, black doesn't hold up real well necessarily, but this is definitely a little different finish. It's kind of a real matte finish compared to the shiny XL finish we're used to. So have to figure out what those are. Open chamber fork, like I said, yeah, that thing pretty soft. Stock gas tank. These are kind of an, they're clear, but they're kind of an opaque color because they, uh, they're they non-permeable now. You can see I've got that much gas left in the gas tank. And that is like 110 miles. Low fuel light came on right at 100, so mileage is looking good. That was mostly, mostly highway with a little bit of mixed dirt, but I was kind of hammering it on the highway too with, with some low gearing. We talked about the change in gearing. Stock is 14 in the front with a 45 in the rear. Everything else here, pretty standard KTM looking fair. All of the paraphernalia for the smog is tucked up under the tank. White plastic on the subframe. That's new this year. I'm not sure I'm really wild about that. Me and white don't necessarily get along all that well together. <laughs> um, lighting. KTM's definitely made some improvements in the lighting. I really, this this LED tail light, that, that's a nice piece. You put the brake light on, it's nice and bright. Blinkers, they have definitely improved these over some of the previous ones, like on the 690. Um, but they're not LEDs. They got the yellow incandescent light in there. You can see the whole apparatus for the license plate. Yeah, that thing's kind of big, but, you know, I've definitely seen worse, and that's what you got to have to be street legal. The muffler, this is the exact same piece as the XCW, so it actually flows pretty well. It comes stock with that little noise restrictor baffle right in the very back of it, but we've got that taken out of there. So, again, the shock, I can see here, this thing's got a 6.9 spring on there, and that's really just, I mean, that's way too light for almost anybody, considering, like, the 450 XCW's got a 7.2 four and that's too light either we need like a, you know seven six minimum for somebody of my weight you know for a 200 pound guy and that leads me to believe there's probably four twos in that front fork that would probably be what would match up with that spring pretty well you can see i burnt my pant just a little bit on the header here that would probably be nice to have a guard on it All of, so far, all of the switch gear and the street legal stuff looks pretty nice. The indicator lights here are nice and bright, so you really can see those when you're going down the road. On the 690, those things were so light that, you know, that in bright daylight, you couldn't even tell the difference between them. So, you got low fuel light there. So, all pretty nice. We've got standard odometer, tripometer set up. Got the new style KTM flag hand guards. I like them for their durability. The things are really strong. They bolt up real nice. They're just, in my opinion, they're a little short. I mean, there's not really a need. This thing should be a nice square piece out here like the old flags. Um, it, you still catch your hands on quite a few things. Tail light was good. Headlight, well, that's a little different story. You know, I've been kind of critical about headlights on KTMs. Took this thing out in the dark last night. The low beam is actually pretty good. It's got a nice, flat, real even beam to it. But as soon as you flip it onto high beam, it becomes a disaster. And the reason isn't so much that it's not putting out light, it's just the way it puts it out. When you turn the high beam on, for some reason, it basically shines right on top of the fender. And so the first thing you get is you get this big reflection off the fender right into your face. And then it casts this huge shadow out in front of you. Uh, off of the fender so the high beam is it's actually it's almost unrideable it's so distracting the way the light is put out on it so 
uh, basically I put the bike on low beam and just left it there and, and you know the low beam is really nice it's just a shame that the high beam doesn't work a little bit better other than that it's pretty much all standard KTM fare uh, the mirror here doesn't fold but as mirrors go it's actually pretty usable you'd, uh, you know it's uh, going down the highway at speed you, it doesn't vibrate much and you can definitely see what you're doing all the other good fare, the Renthal grips, the Nikkei bars. I've got them jacked way forward here just because of my size. I, I still feel a little big on this bike, but there's a lot of people who are going to love this bike just because it is sized a little smaller and it fits really well for, for people who are challenged with those kinds of things. So there we go. There's a first walk around look at the 2012 350 EXC.